Hey, New Hopes, Pastor Austin here. Just wanted to say, uh, if you missed this past Sunday, you need to get back online and watch Pastor Brian's message. It's an awesome message about a minor character named Barnabas. Many of you know him, but Pastor Brian did a great job studying on that and bringing a great encouraging word. So check that out on YouTube. Today's devotional is going to be a little bit different because I'm asking for some participation, not precipitation, although we could use some of that too participation. Um, at the end, I'm going to ask you guys to, to write a comment and encourage somebody in those comments. Maybe tag someone. Uh, maybe you send a text message. Maybe you give a phone call if they're not on Facebook or wherever you're watching this. But let's be an encouraging people. The Bible has a lot to say about encouragement. And I think that we can all benefit from not just giving it, but also receiving it. And so first of all, Thessalonians 5.11 says, therefore, encourage one another and build one another up just as you are doing. And, and Hebrews 10.24 and 25 says, let us not neglect meeting together as uh, is the habit of some, but encouraging one another all the more as the day draws near. He's talking about the return of the Lord drawing near. Let us continue to gather together so that what? We may be encouraged. When you come to church, one of the primary purposes of the church and the establishment of the church is to encourage one another. And so uh, we don't want to just encourage you on Sundays. We know that some of you are staying at home right now because you've got health uh, issues and you're just playing the cards safe right now. But if you can be back, let's encourage one another. And I want to start that off in the comments. And so right below, wherever you're watching, would you tag someone? Would you text someone? Would you give someone a call and offer up some kind words, some encouragement, maybe a thank you, but let's just encourage one another. And I want to start off today by encouraging someone that is so close to my heart. And that person is my mom. Mom, if you're watching this, which you better be watching this because I'm your son and your only son. And so if you're not watching it, you should and shame on you. But mom, if you're watching this, I love you. And uh, I just want to say thank you for being the best Grammy that, that there is. Um, I have so many cherished memories of us as uh, growing up as a family. And I remember going to Texas a couple times with just you. I absolutely loved and cherished those memories as some of my highest memories. I've never told you that. Um, and I, I just watch my kids light up when you come over to our house and they yell Grammy and run to the, the door. And I'm so thankful that you play such a big role in my life, in my kids' lives, in Elizabeth and I's life. And I'm so grateful for you. You're doing an awesome job. You're an awesome mom. You're an awesome editor. You're an awesome Grammy. And uh, I love you so much. And uh, I, I really appreciate all that you've done and sacrificed for me throughout the years. I've learned so much from you. I've learned how to be more uh, compassionate and empathetic towards people and, and uh, just be in tune with people's needs. And uh, you're a phenomenal listener and I, I really love you a lot, mom. So um, if you are still watching and you made it through that saga, um, that uh, lovey mushy saga that I just uh, uh, did for my mom, uh, would you just leave a comment right now and just begin to encourage someone? Let's just get this ball, a spirit of encouragement flowing. So let me pray for you. Jesus, thank you so much for everyone who's watching this video. I pray right now if someone is feeling discouraged, if they're feeling alone, that they would go to you and and from heaven right now, they would realize that Jesus, you are intercessing on our behalf and so I just pray a spirit of encouragement over every believer, every listener that is is uh, watching this video, is listening to this video. And, and I pray, God, that as kind words begin to flow in the comments and in phone calls and text messages, that, that we would just be encouraged and that we would be the church and we would do our jobs encouraging each other to keep on pressing on and taking and gaining ground as the day draws near. And so we love you, Lord. We thank you for your spirit that is with us and in us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. God bless you guys. Have a great Tuesday, and we'll see you on Sunday. I'm speaking, so don't skip out. It's going to be a good one. We'll see you then.